You know, I can't really remember the last time words like small or satisfying were used to describe a piece of computer hardware, yet that's exactly how I feel today with the Zotac NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti Custom Mini Edition. Stick around, because things are about to get interesting. What's up everyone? In today's video, we're going to take an in-depth look at the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. This particular model is from Zotac. It has a custom cooling solution and it really is quite small and streamlined. Before we get into any of the tech specs or any of the performance testing, let's talk a little bit more at just how small this card really is. For comparison purposes, here's a GeForce GTX 1070 from Gigabyte. This thing is absolutely massive in comparison. The GTX 1050 Ti struggles to be 50% the size of this absolute monster. In a world where graphics cards tend to get longer and longer and weigh more and more, this type of thing is actually refreshing to see. The GTX 1050 Ti runs on its own GPU. It is not a cut down version of higher end cards like the 1060 or the 1070 like we have here. It is its own dedicated GPU based on the NVIDIA Pascal microarchitecture. This GPU offers 768 CUDA cores, 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 VRAM, 128 bit memory bus, a boost clock of 1417 megahertz with a base clock of 1303. It has full DirectX 12 support and it runs on Windows 10, 8, and 7. For display output, you get DisplayPort 1.4, an HDMI 2.0B port, and a dual link DVI port. The card itself measures 144.78 millimeters long by 111.15 millimeters wide. At the time of shooting this video, this card can be purchased for about 150 to 160 US dollars, which positions it perfectly at the lower end of the mainstream market. The obvious question is, can such a little graphics card really offer a solid 1080p gaming experience? That's what we're about to find out. Let's jump right into some games. Yeah, they're yeah. super staggered. Let's nice. go. I mean, I can do this. Eyes closed. Nice soldier. Nice soldier. Get out of my way, or I'll run you over. Enemy contact. Glory, baby. It's Watch the sim. The matchup. Dead. Nice. nice. We're going to start things off here with Grand Theft Auto 5 where we saw our FPS dip to about 51 at its lowest and about 92 was the average FPS throughout the gameplay testing, which is a quite respectable frame rate in this game. Next up we have Doom, we saw our FPS dip to about 62 at its lowest, which is actually just above that 60 FPS sweet spot that most people look for, and keep in mind that's just the minimum, we saw an average of a very respectable and smooth 74 FPS. In Rise of the Tomb Raider, the frame rate dropped as low as 36 at times, and it was actually quite noticeable, it showed up as some choppiness in the game. We managed an average FPS of about 54. Moving along to Rocket League. Here you can see our FPS managed to stay above 80 at all times and we averaged about 97. In Counter-Strike Global Offensive, both our minimum and average FPS was significantly higher than any of the other games that we tested. And that's because the source engine that this game runs on is really not graphically intensive at all. Here we have Subnautica, a game that I absolutely love playing and testing with new graphics cards. Here we saw a minimum FPS of 61 and an average of a very smooth 82. Here we have Overwatch, arguably one of the most popular first person shooter games out there right now. We saw our FPS dip as low as 49 at times during big battle scenes, and we managed an average FPS of about 66. In life, some things come in tiny packages. Other things come in big, long, extended packages. The bottom line is this. If you're looking for a solid 1080p gameplay experience and you are not interested in selling your house or at least taking out a second mortgage to buy a new video card, then the GeForce GTX 1050 Ti from Zotac should definitely be on your shortlist and is worth your consideration. 
That's all for today, guys. If you like this video and you found it helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel for more reviews and quick tech tips just like this.